Well, hello, hello, hello. Good morning to you all. I say good morning because I'm, uh, uh, it's morning here where I am. I'm coming to you live from uh, Gaithersburg. And I want to say, I want to say happy Monday, but then I start thinking, happy Monday. Today's Memorial Day. It's not really a happy time. It's more solemn because we remember those who have uh, died, you know, fighting for our freedoms. And so it's not really a happy time, more solemn, but enjoy today. I'll say it that way. Uh, good morning to you all. I'm Clarissa Myers. I don't think I said my name. Every morning, Monday through Friday, I come and share a nugget or two with you, that something that can help you in your personal life, something that can help you in your business. And I do invite you to share this out today because um, I think it's something that can help us all. I'm not saying that what I shared before isn't valuable, but today you really want to share this out. So, oh, thank you for the love and the hearts. Um, Roland was with me for the weekend, but he had to go on back to uh, Richmond, so I'm up here still. Um, today, uh, I'm going to share a little bit about the rules for success. A few days ago, I was talking with my sister, Cynthia. Cynthia, I hope you're watching. <laughs> But we were talking about uh, the graduation at Morehouse and the, the gentleman who made that announcement, you may have heard of it, and if you haven't, his name is, uh, I guess it's Dr. Robert F. Smith. And so I said, who is this guy? He's gonna, he's made an announcement that he was going to uh, pay off all of the graduates from Morehouse, that class, 2019, and there were 398, um, 398 graduates, and each one of those people have loans, <laughs> loans that I think is estimated over 40 million dollars. Could you believe that? You know, I am in my 50s, and I know some people who are still paying off school loans and things like that. Anyway, I, I got interested in who is this um, Robert F. Smith. So I, I, you know, Googled him. I looked at some videos on YouTube. I said, what is it, how is it that he was able to harness that greatness? You know, I, I've been on this journey studying greatness in all of its forms. And I would say that what that gesture that's a great gesture. How many people you know that would have done that? How many people you know have the ability to do that? So that got me interested in, in Dr. Smith, like I call him Dr. Smith. And so uh, as I was looking at and learning about him, you know, by the way, he, he was born in Denver, somewhere in Colorado, um, to two parents who were school teachers, but they had their PhDs. And he got exposed to entrepreneurship at a very young age. You know, and I think uh, many times a lot of us are not exposed at a young age to know what to do to be able to uh, attain that level of success. So um, anyway, so I was looking up and trying to learn a little bit more about him. And he gave some tips, um, rules, he called them, for success. And I'm just going to, you know, touch on each one each day this week. Um, and the, one, the first one he talked about is to develop your mind. Develop your, that's, <laughs> develop your mind. That's an ongoing thing. It, we should never stop. We should never believe that we have arrived. Your mind, you ever heard that expression, your mind is a terrible thing to waste? You know, so develop it. Start young as soon as you're you're able to, because it kind of gives you a jump start in life. But it's never too late. <laughs> it's that's one great thing. It's never too late. <clears throat> he was talking about um, uh, intellectual in, intellectual um, what was IP intellectual property. That's what it was. Intellectual property, and you know, a lot of us. I've heard some of this stuff before, but as you're developing your mind, you know, you may have a, an idea, you may have something that, you know, maybe you write music, you have gifts, you have to protect yourself. 
because as you develop your mind, this intellectual property can pay dividends in the future. You know, he talked about, and so I, you know, I just delved into intellectual property. I'm just going to share this. Of course, you heard about copyright, copywriting your 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 material, and that you know that goes with um, it refers to like music, you know, um, written works, which could be books, you know, articles, magazines, things like that. Um, even software uh, developing, you have to copyright it. And then, of course, there there are other types of intellectual property, such as, you know, you want to trademark maybe your brand or your logo, um, you know, and then you have it registered. I put some symbols up in there in the notes. If you've made an invention, create an invention, you want to patent it. And this goes with, like, maybe chemical. He was a, um, this is Dr. Smith. He was a chemical engineer. And so he, he's developed over $26 billion worth of intellectual property. Wow. And um, of course, there, there are um, trade secrets, like if you have a secret recipe that's handed down from your grandmother, and I'm sure maybe your grandmother didn't have it patented or whatever, but you may have it in your little files or whatever. You want to uh, have those trade secrets, um, have it it's a, it's a trade secret anyway. So intellectual property is, it, it's, it's a whole new world. <laughs> and you wanna protect yourself. I, I remember um, TLC, and then I think it was another male group, uh, what was the name, a male group anyway, they kinda like signed away their rights to the songs and the music that they created. So if you are a, an entrepreneur, you need to be able to protect yourself, uh, safeguard yourself against um, others who may take your your idea, who, who may take that and benefit off of it. So uh, develop your mind. That is something that we should all be be aware of, and especially if you are an entrepreneur and you have all these ideas, you want to you know copyright it, you want to patent it, you want to. Uh, trademark it. You want to do those things that will protect you. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Austin says to be our intellectual property. Yes, it's incredible. Good morning to you, Charles. I can wave to you. Good morning, Lucia. Good morning. Glad that you can join me this morning. Good morning, Denver. Yes, today is a Memorial Day. I know a lot of people are home. Uh, and, you know, even if you may not necessarily be an entrepreneur, I think this is valuable information that we all need to know. It's and if you have friends who are, go ahead and share it out because uh, they would be eternally grateful. <laughs> they would be. Anyway, uh, each day this week, I'm going to come and bring another uh, tip that can help you. And I also wanted to let you know that in the, the description, I do have a link to Spiritual Entrepreneur Goal Achievers. Uh, I'm going to be sharing this information and I share other information in there. If you'd like to be a part of that free community, I invite you to do that. Also, if um, you would like to join a Facebook challenge, you know, sometimes you have something burning within you, something that you want to share, and you don't know where to start. Doing Facebook Live, that's how I started, um, two years ago, actually. And so I can see where I've grown. And so this is some an area that I feel a little bit more comfortable in, but as I'm growing and as I'm developing, I share the things that I've learned. Um, so I appreciate you joining me this morning. Uh, let's see, I think some others have come on here while I was... Good morning to you, Dave. Yes, he says the billionaire. Billionaire, wow. Talk about um, uh, Robert F. Smith. Uh, I could wave to you. Well, I appreciate you joining me this morning. I will be back tomorrow at 8 o'clock where I'll bring another nugget, and I will see you then. Make today powerful. Make it a blessing to you and to someone else. Oh, and I wanted to say, too, um, the only thing that Robert Smith asked of that class in return is to pay it forward. Now, granted, none of us, well, I shouldn't say none of us, many of us are not at that level to be able to do something like that, to pay off the student loans and debt of an entire graduating class, but we can still do some 
things, something small. If you're in a grocery store, I mean, you can do something. Pay it forward. I've seen people do this on, like, on TV, uh, maybe even in the line, uh, or if you're going through a, a tunnel, opening the toll, you know, you have to drop some money in the thing. You can do it for someone, maybe the person behind you, or, you know, something. It could be small, but on, on a level that's comfortable for you, but paying it forward. And uh, so, again, we can implement some of those things in our lives to help others. So be a blessing to someone today, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and if you're catching the replay, write hashtag replay and tell me where you're tuning in from. I always love to know where, where how far the, um, my lives reach. So have a powerful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.